from LA. Everybody, welcome back to the Houston Up Podcast, episode 90. Round of applause. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Sing my praises. Sing my praises. Sing them. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the You Should Know Podcast, episode 90. We are fresh back from L.A. to you. But in real time, I'm not like Cam. I'm not going to lie to you. We haven't been to L.A. yet. The live show hasn't happened. We were pre-recording this. So not this episode will you get a recap of the L.A. show. But next week, you will get a recap of the L.A. show. But guess what? We're in the future now. We have two more live shows prepared, ready, booked, and signed for you. So be prepared. Be prepared for that announcement. It is two cities that I have always wanted to perform at. And I'm so excited to announce it to y'all. It will happen very soon. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at PSHA. Follow Cam on Instagram at CamKennedy22. And follow the You Should Know Podcast at You Should Know Pod on Instagram. We love you so much. Now on to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know Podcast. We got co-host Cam back in the studio. Oh God! Oh God! Don't say nothing. Oh, voice check. Voice check. Are you healthy? I think I'm healthy. Oh, let's go. We got him back. I'm more healthy at least. We got him back. Cam, voice is back. Hopefully, Cam. I'm not gonna lie. Forever. You look like real good right now. Thank you. Normally, sometimes I gag a little bit in my throat whenever I look at you. A little in the gaggle, sussle reflexes. What was that second word? Sussle. Spell it. Sounds like Cecil, an old Western I, name. I've met a, a Cecil. He was very wise, and he he carried yarn in his mouth. That's not real. I'm telling you something. You're not telling truth. What was I going to say? I was complimenting you. Mm, don't do my hips ever again. Oh, those are your cheeks. But oh, okay. Not those cheeks. Oh. That would be like... <laughs> just a big... A couple... Just a couple haunches good, good, You got a good haunch. Just a... You have like... You know in a football, in the laces when you throw a football, and you get grip on the fingers? That's what you got on your, on your haunch. But what I was going to say to you yeah. is you look good. Thanks. You look like clay. Clay who? Like the, the like, material. <laughs> like, not the person. Like porcelain? Yeah, like, like you look clay. like... clay. I like, look like clay. You know who you do look like, though? Who? JFK before he got shot. Obviously not after. That'd be a bad look. Funny. I'm so That's sorry. I've been to his museum. JFK's? Yeah, here in Dallas. I got to stand where the perpetrator was. Mm. Isn't that Pretty crazy? Cool. The, 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 there's a lot of conspiracies on that. There's a whole section in the museum about all the different conspiracies. There's Take like, a lick. You just picked your earwax yeah. in front of everyone. Yeah. You're now thumbing it and you offered me to lick it. Do you know how many I was about to say I would have I would have sucked your finger dry for that. I would pay you so much money to suck my finger dry. You can literally if you if okay, these little bets you offer yeah. me. Yeah. You know how much more compelling they'd be if it was right here in person? The cash? If you had ten one hundred dollar bills sitting in front of me said for a thousand dollars, suck my finger dry, okay. I'd give you a, I'd give you a damn lollipop special. This is Oh my God! Thousand cash, I'd, I'd bone dry. I'd take some skin with okay, me. Okay, Liv, can you can you go on Amazon? On a finger, a finger, yeah. a can finger. You go on Amazon and, and get l- fake money. No, 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 and get an ATM. We could put it in here so I can have the card ready. An ATM. Who's gonna fund the ATM? You How think do it ATMs comes? Work? Do you think it comes funded? How do ATMs work? I want you to think about what you just said. You want her to buy an ATM off Amazon, and you think it's magically filled with real like, cash? Is it kind of like how gas stations work? I like it's an underground tube, like that goes to the banks. An underground tube. Where are you living? I honestly don't know. Like stuff like that, I've always had a hard time with. Like stuff that you just grew up around. I don't understand. Like, you like think we're in like Looney Tune land. Like gas stations and Someone's ATMs. Like, and it goes. Yeah. Tra- no. No. Like you put in your card, and then that's why I'd ask you. Like, to hey, you ever it- heard of a Brinks truck? Can I can I explain my thought process, and then you speak after me? Go, dumbass. Me? I'm a dumbass. You think there's tubes under the city that transport That's what cash. you said for the gas station. And I didn't believe it either. You said there is magical there's magical leprechaun oil under the ground. I said there's big reservoir t- reservoir tanks. You don't even know how to talk. And I you miss, don't know how life works. I miss so when you I guess didn't have a voice. I guess we're a podcast of a bunch of idiots. I'm smarter I can't than you. S- absolutely not. Who has more certificates of uh, appreciation of from college? <laughs> Who has more certificates from college? Okay, me. Me. 
No, you paid for yours. No, I didn't. Yeah. You no, did. I didn't. Yeah, you did. No, I did not. Okay, okay. If I stay at a job for a hundred years, yeah, I'll have more certificates. I got more. I was more successful in a shorter time. I was like Absolutely Tupac. Not. Absolutely not. I was Tupac. How many years did you go to school? Two. College? Yeah. Two. Four. Oh, that's even worse. That's even better. Okay, four. Three, How many degrees no, do you have? How many degrees do you have? Answer four. How many degrees? It's not my fault. Okay, then. it's not my fault. It's because they didn't transfer. Because college is a scam. Let me tell you something, kids. <laughs> college is a scam. They don't transfer your credits over to different schools because that school they want wants your money. your money. Facts. It's the same class. It's a sad drop sad out. Room. Join the army. I don't well, know about that. But. Um, what was I going to say to you? Oh, this is what I thought about ATMs, right? And I'm I'm genuine, genuine. Like, <laughs> like calm down, JFK. Sorry. This is what I was going to say to you. I thought ATMs, right? They put the machine there and then they funnels to the bank and they have to get the money from the bank to go up under the thing. Like how gas works. It's not how gas works. I thought we had a whole thing. Ga uh, big tanker trucks yes. bring the gas. Yeah, but So you're still missing that. Someone has to bring the money to fill it. No, it the tube. You know how like whenever you deposit a check at Chase? Yeah, and it goes <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And you do that to me sometimes too. <laughs> What animal did you think I would resemble the most? Meerkat. That's cute. No. They're naked, long <laughs> bodies, creepy looking. Meerkats are cute. Have you seen, um, what's the, fuck, what's the animal? Zaboomafoo. What's the movie about the penguins? Happy Feet. No, in the zoo and there's a Surf's lion up. and a giraffe. Oh, uh, Madagascar. Madagascar, the meerkats are cute. Yeah. Okay, so you're a cute little naked, ma maybe naked mole rat, maybe a Rufus. <laughs> Or you resemble Rufus way more than Remus I do. Is it Remus or Rufus? Rufus. You, you resemble... You stick of gum? <laughs> Where did you get that from? You never have gum. No, I think... <laughs> there's something that's been happening. Have you ever been around an old person that smoked cigarettes their whole life? And then you smell the, their gums? Oh. And it smells like a, a, like a WD-40? Yeah, it's, it literally smells like a garage door. I opened my mouth this morning, and I was like... I smell like garden hose. Yeah, I smell. I I, told you. I smell like like pre like the land before time, before <laughs> the meteor hit. Like you know what I mean? That's what I smell like. Just manure. No, that. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh no. my god. When they really smoke in the the holes there, hmm? and they're like, I used to smoke when I was. Oh yeah, it's sad though. Well, I mean yes, but it's like they smoked a pack a day for forty five yeah, years. Yeah, but what I don't do you think it's gonna happen. Want some bears? Want some pet? That might be the most evil thing you've ever done. On <laughs> For this family guy, I didn't think about that. Want some pets? Uh. <laughs> uh. Um. Oh, speaking of um, manure, I did not like how you just so said that. So my grand, my, my say that again. Manure. <laughs> I did not like that. What? Manure. Manure. <laughs> manure. You sound f like French. This is the um. Manure. I went to. So my grandma, my grandma and grandpa had a barn at their house. <laughs> I don't know why that was funny. Why are you saying all these words like that? <laughs> barn. What? Be normal. Barn. Barn. Huh? Barn. Barn. There you go. You're creeping me out right now. <laughs> I, don't I, know just, why. I just French inhaled. I just French inhaled. The, 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 <laughs> oh my God! I live. <laughs> I'm keeping this. I just oh French God. inhaled a burp. That was kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, my my mom my my grandma and my grandpa had a barn, right? I don't know why that's so funny. I'm sorry. I don't know. It's just barn. Who says barn? But go. No, I know it's a real thing. What the hell would I, I'm what I call like, it? I just the never animal knew. house. No, no, it's good barn. What they animals do they have? <laughs> um, they had horses. <laughs> okay, keep going. They had horses, right? And the horses poop. But if you leave a horse's poop out from maybe an hour, it comes to like it coats in hardness. Yeah. Like, have you ever held it? Called like a cow patty. Or what's so, it called? I don't know. Fry. It's not the point. Cow pie. So me and my brother and my dad would go out to the barn, right? Mm -hmm. And we'd have poop fights with cow, uh, with horse shit. Yeah. Yeah. I hit my dad right here one time, and then I remember one day, I was I was going behind baby. Baby is one of the horses, oldest one. I don't know how it's not dead yet. It, well, you're still here, but um, but so I remember I went right behind her tail, right, and she just shit, and I looked at it, right, and I picked it up, and I had I had uh, I had gardening gloves on because my grandma loved the garden, rest in peace. Did she like the garden? I've never seen her have a garden, but there was definitely gardening gloves with probably shit grabbing gloves. Yeah, and so I would I grabbed shit it, hooves, and it had 
grass in it. And I was just like, and then my grandma. You did not no, eat it. No, I didn't. Thank God. I would have, but Miriam stopped me. How was your week, Bubba? You are on <laughs> edge right now. You're on something. You want to know why? Is your grandma's government name Miriam? Yeah. That is amazing. Miriam Gertrude Harden. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's good. Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's yeah, her nice. mom's name is Gertrude. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. German. Uh, my meek, my meek, my, my week was good. We got back from L.A., but... No, we we're didn't. Not, damn it. I, <laughs> you're such a liar, bro. I I'm love sorry. that we exposed this. I'm We've broken the fourth wall. Uh, we're leaving for LA tomorrow. Yes. We had to pre record. Uh, our week was actually really hectic. It was actually <laughs> ass. It was actually awful. Yeah. Um, recording last week's episode was. <laughs> hell. It was it was the worst thing ever. Like, I, y'all heard it. My voice was dog shit. Um, we, without getting too much into it, we recorded. Things happened. Technical we, difficulties. We recorded two episodes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, it was crazy. The week was crazy. We got you finally moved in, though. How do you like your new spot, Bubba? Uh, it's it's good. I'm very grateful, and I'm blessed for that house. Uh, it's a crazy... What about the help you had setting it up? Not much. Other than Mike. Shout out to Mike. And that's it. Lisa helped, Wow. Too. Wow. Yeah. Shout Lisa, out to Mike and Lisa. Lisa had a... She was great with the... Um, level. The level. She's a fantastic like, it's not level, level, Mike. <laughs> Mike, that level. Mike, is that level? My dad's like, shut up. She's like, I don't think that's level, honey. Yo, she would be quiet for like three hours. She'd fall asleep in there. She'd, she'd be like, wake up, she'd she'd be like, like level. Is that level? <laughs> so... Um, oh, that was close. But, um... But what, why I'm acting like this is because I found I feel like a newborn baby. Like I've just it, exited the labia. And not it, where you exit from. What? Not where you exit the from. The cervix. There is a, there's it's a whole. Hey, where do you come out? The labia? No, the labia is the no, lips. She doesn't have a kid. The cervix. Don't you're saying that? The, I know that's the vagina. You pop out the old. Wh <laughs> you want me to keep it? <laughs> So no, so I feel like I feel like right here, right? I just came out, right? I came out foot first. Uh huh. No, you definitely were an ass backwards, baby. You definitely came out asshole to the earth before your head. You literally came out. Your mom sitting there, ah, and they just said, ah, and you just came. That's how you came out. They came out pulling me out like this. Just. <laughs> the you should know podcast. This episode is brought to you by ShipStation. The holidays are the busiest time of the year. Don't get stuck worrying about shipping orders. Let ShipStation do the heavy lifting. So you or your team can put your time, money, and energy into more important things. Plus, when it comes to those inevitable holiday returns, ShipStation automates, recommends exchanges, and gathers customer feedback. So even if they bought the wrong size or color, they'll still have a great experience whether you're shipping from your house or multiple warehouses ShipStation can increase your holiday profitability with ShipStation, you can easily automate shipping tasks and manage orders and returns in one simple dashboard effortless integration everywhere you sell online including amazon etsy ebay shopify and more ShipStation manages orders prints labels compares rates optimizes every single shipment and automates delivery notifications ShipStation offers industry-leading discounted rates from USPS, UPS, DHL, and Global Post. Get discounts up to 84% off USPS and UPS rates. Let your customers shop risk-free this holiday with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com and use code YSK today and sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com and use code YSK. Now on to the rest of the episode. No podcast. Oh, you have a first class ticket. You have a special spot. You <laughs> I'm cutting it. Mm. No, I'm gonna mute it. I'm gonna mute it. But no, I feel like a newborn baby, right? That Why? I still got afterbirth on me. Where where is this? What the hell are you saying? <laughs> they haven't wiped me with the towel yet. Why but why are you feeling like this? That's <laughs> because I went to the gym. You dig <laughs> Shout out to Peyton Ryan, did. shout Peyton out to did. Cam. Peyton shout went out to, to the live. gym today. Liv went to her own gym. Yeah, but, Liv's doing her own thing. Uh, the three of us, three amigos, we went to the gym today. Peyton's first official gym session about 800 days. Oh, oh my God. Can you tell? Get. Oh. <laughs> You're going to have a hernia. I heard that in your voice. You said, <laughs> You kind of liked it, you sick freak. 
God, your nipples. I saw a comment. Did you read that comment? About what? They said I got big nipples. <laughs> you know I have big nipples? <laughs> I have big nips. I think you said... No. You shaved your chest? Yeah. <laughs> Why is that so funny? <laughs> oh. Oh. No. Please. No. Can, can win. Can win. Can. Look how gross my armpit looks. It's gone. Look how gross my armpit hair looks. It. Yeah, my shit's pretty wet too. Yeah. It's so fucking much pretty dark though. Holy <laughs> shit. Dude. You look you look like a lunch lady. <laughs> I look like a lunch lady? No, but I've as you can tell, I went to the gym. How did I do? Honest you, review. I was about to say something very bad. Uh you did good. Honest to God, review. He did really good. Uh Form on lateral raises, maybe one or two more sessions. He'll have that down. I have to a bubble gum. I have a bubble gum. He claims shoulder. he has a click in the whole rotator cuff, but everything was good. He did good, right, right? He did solid. His yeah. weight was solid. Like it was. I mean, people clown him, but it's like, bro is an ex collegiate athlete. At the end of the day, he's got. He has some genes to him. He has some genetic. Be careful. <laughs> he has some good genes as well. But yeah, I mean, he's kid's an athlete. He's just been dormant for the yeah. last four years. Yeah. But yeah, it was good. How do you feel? I heard you say, I haven't felt a dopamine hit like this in years when yeah. we were lifting today. Yeah. Explain that. How'd you, feel, how'd you feel when we left? Um, I felt good. Uh, Where are you right now? <laughs> Where are you? I was thinking about something that happened at the gym. What happened? I can't yeah. stand on the camera. Oh, okay. But um, one of the things I felt after the gym, I couldn't, I was literally drinking water like this. Like I, I opened up my water we did in, shoulders and arms by yeah the way. and so i was like oh i can just drink water like a human i literally couldn't move my arm past this so i was drinking water like i was gotta cut that out <laughs> gotta cut that out cj hello like i was in need of like i couldn't i couldn't do it like i like i like you know like i cut half my arm off i couldn't do That's it good though uh but it felt good like i I didn't i genuinely haven't felt that uh that dopamine rush in a minute and i have energy throughout the day there you go and i'm hungry and maybe that's why you're going psychotic right now just psycho oh. one What's, of the reasons i'm not gonna lie i thought about this earlier what the hell is a pinata like at its core if you think about it what the hell is a pinata like what's it used for why are we beating the shit out of a hedgehog that has candy on the inside? That we stuffed it with candy? I think it's a cultural thing. I, I, I do understand what you're saying, but can somebody look up what it's like we, it's came like from? We, it's like we love Pikachu. Let's decapitate it <laughs> yeah. with a broomstick. Yeah. Yeah. And he's going to bleed Butterfingers. And the worst one is is when it's like little Disney princesses yeah. and 30-year-olds like are, are like, beating the shit like out of Mulan, it. It's Mulan and you're just like, yeah. wham! Wham! With yeah, it's and like, I saw you do the what's the uh, what's that movie with the princess and the frog? Princess and the frog. I saw you like we went to we it was it was like your twenty first birthday and you're like I really want to beat that one. You are such a liar! Look at you, clothe yourself. You're right. <laughs> um, you don't look bad though. That sounded a bit suggestive. I was trying to boost your confidence. Peyton got a haircut. Just leave it in the comments. Looks uh, fantastic. Kid looks good. Do, do you remember high school? There's a stain on your shirt. There's always stains on my shirt. Literally, it's whenever we're moving in, Cam goes, everything you own is yeah, stained. We were, unbo- we were unboxing his clothes, right? <laughs> he had to put clothes in boxes, and I literally was going through each piece, putting it on the hanger. I'm like, there's a stain on the shoulder. Stain on the back. Hell, there's a stain on these jeans. I was like, dog, yeah. what do you do? Yeah. Um, oh, my God. Word for word, he went like this. He said, he actually didn't speak. I said, how do you have stains on everything? He goes... I'm like, you you cleanse your hands with your jeans and shirt. Yeah. Uh-huh. Anyway, high school? Yeah, high school. Do you remember high school, right? I do. <sighs> good times. Bad times, but good times. Good times. Good times. Good times. Well, some hard times, but... M- mainly good, though. Mainly good, yeah. For us. Yes. Well... <laughs> <laughs> so... Do you remember, right? I I was one of those kids in high school that could go with any friend group, right? I was I I was friends with the jocks. I was friends with the gamers. I was friends with the gays. I was friends with the uh with the the musical kids. Dude, I think that's how I I know we were destined to do. I'm the I was the exact same kid in high school. But I don't think you were. No, you can literally ask that guy right here. But okay, were you friends with the tail people that would go like this to lunch? 
Those are my. That That's was my probably group. the one group I wasn't. Okay, with. that was my group: nerds, singers, musicians, theater kids, band kids, athletes, ex-athletes, jocks, low totem pole, special ed. Like every group yeah. there was, probably except the ha <laughs> shalai. And then those they kids, had the like, tail. Yeah. They had to tell, and then they would. Yeah, not those. And they decided they never ate in the lunchroom. They ate by a vending machine, sitting down on the ground. <laughs> like those are my people. And, and I would go up to him. I'd be like, "What up, T? What up, T?" And they'd be like, "Peyton, like that." They're like, "Dude, Peyton, dog. Peyton, love, <laughs> love and peace to you, Wolf." And I'd be like, "There's." <laughs> Love and peace to you, Shadow Fangs. <laughs> and so I remember one of the things I did with them, and it was our bonding experience, how they knew I was good with them, is they always had yarn necklaces, right? And they would have monster drinks. They would drink monsters all day, every day. I couldn't do that because my mom wouldn't allow me to. Good mom. But when I got them, I, I, would, I, was, I would get their caps, right? And they would always make necklaces out of their monster caps. And I remember the first time of respect I had with them, it was like I got initiated into their tribe, is they gave me a, a monster necklace cap. I wore it to bed and I woke up and my whole neck was bleeding <laughs> and I had blood on my chest. That's my story. <laughs> you took, that thing was probably cursed. Like actually, they probably put a curse on that. No, those are my friends. Yarn? Monster, t they're 15 drinking monsters. First off, what are you doing? It's like, Why you, you, you have enough natural yeah, you, energy. You are, you can definitely make it through a day. Yeah, they're putting it on a, on a piece of yarn like it's a tribal necklace, mm -hmm. like it's bones from their fallen enemies. And then they gift it to you to initiate you into their clan and their tribe. What are you doing? I saw you <laughs> leveling up right there. That was a weird swallow. I didn't like that. I can't swallow anymore regularly. Why? You hear me? <laughs> no. I'm not hearing you. I, I can't swallow without swishing. Why? It's cold on my teeth. You've always had some weak ass teeth. I don't go to the bitch teeth, as some as some would say. I don't go to the uh, I don't go to the dentist. Bro, okay, back to high school real quick. Not the wolf kids necessarily. Not the full moon kids. Did you ever have crazy substitutes? Do you have a weird substitute story? Any anything of that nature? Oh my god, weird substitute teacher. I'll tell you one you, first, okay. and then it maybe yeah. it jogs you. <clears throat> When we were in high school, we had a sub. I'm not going to say his name for that reasons, but uh, he subbed us all the way from like fourth grade to high school. Like we, this one man, he was probably retired. He was older. Okay, one of those. Those are always the best. Yeah, they're always super nice. Because you right? knew them. When we were younger, he had like a party trick. Mm. Like, hey, if y'all are good, I'll give you the Donald Duck noise at the end of class. Like, what? <laughs> huh? I swear to God. I swear <laughs> to God. If y'all be good now. All right, you little boys and girls. If y'all good and you don't touch each other, or uh, you don't, if y'all are good in class, I'll give, I'll give you some Looney Tunes at the end. I swear to God. How old are you? Dude, it was like fourth grade, like 10. Okay. So it was sick. That's awesome. So, and that, but that, okay. God, that's the point though. We had to be good for a whole day. Fourth grade, you're not switching classes. Yeah. Whole day. Yeah. We get a prize. Cool. So this man is like in the district until we're like 16 years oh, old. You're driving a car now. You're in a Corolla. Dude, I'm literally driving to school. And I'm in like physics and he's subbing and he's like, he's like, y'all good by the end of the class. He's like, I'll, I'll do the old, he said, I'll do the old Donald Duck for you. No, he did not. I swear to God. And we literally, it got to the point, people wouldn't even acknowledge him. Like people would just be like, all right, bro, all right bro's, bro's back. Yeah. We're going to get some at the end of the class. And, and I, and literally he, I, no, I swear to God. He, like when we were in high school, we're 16. Yeah. It's like someone could just bomb their, like, their algebra test and they come in this guy's like <laughs> like trying to do noises and shit and we're like shut up god bless that man dude good sub but anyway it sounded like a marble just fell out of your asshole and hit a tile floor it literally went that was a disgusting part. how far do you think you could go excuse me <laughs> on what that is, that is, I don't know why, but that is an invasive question. How far do I think I can, do you have metal in your mouth? What is that? What is that in the back, in the back corner of your mouth? Open your mouth. Look that way. Your tongue is huge. <laughs> but no, what? Oh my God, it was spit. It looked like metal. I thought you had a metal bracket in the back of your mouth and I was about to flame. Oh my God, because I'd never seen it. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. You're, close your mouth. Anyway, back to the, I'm not even going to say, anyway, that's the sub. One day, one of my friends is so pissed that this same duck making noise guy is back again. He leaves to go to the bathroom. 
comes back in the span of about two to three minutes. This man goes to use the bathroom before he subs mm -hmm. us. My friend closes all applications on his laptop, <laughs> closes the laptop, turns off all the lights, turns on all the sinks in the science lab, flips his Dr. Pepper upside down, <laughs> loosens his chair, and pulls it out of spot. This man comes back, sits in the chair, it snaps under him, goes up, tries to grab his drink, fizzes up, and I was like, <laughs> he deserves jail like this kid deserves imprisonment that's i hate when people oh are mean to God. teachers it, i hate it bro oh speaking of being mean to teachers this isn't my story but it's a guy named steve zaragoza <laughs> i was told this story by and or i heard the story from and basically he went to a catholic school right okay and there was like a, a i i vaguely remember the story but it was like a new teacher uh or something it was like the first day of school it was like a new teacher and uh or something like that or they didn't like the teacher whatever and so the kids band together and like she would always have this this coffee mug right and she would have her coffee in the morning mm -hmm. and put it on her desk she um leaves to go outside the classroom the hallway to go do something okay kids go to her um her coffee her mug you know the lead in the pencils they broke it off put that in there they they emptied out uh perfume in there they added like two or three more things like that right so she's in the classroom right she's doing her thing she takes her first sip of uh of the coffee she goes <coughs> <coughs> and she starts dying and they had the epipen her i believe or they took her to the hospital or something and i don't know if that kid got expelled or went to jail but he was a kid kid so that kid know. had better went to damn jail yeah. like jail jail yeah are you dead serious? Dead right now? serious, dead serious, bro. Kids like that suck. If I, I'm not gonna lie. Me being a young teacher, like, I, like imagine that happened to me last year. I would have hit. I would have spazzed and hit a kid. Yeah, and my but, life would have been over. But you're only like eight years older than those kids. Exactly. Right? So like that, I would feel fine punching the shit out of one. I would have punched one right in their teeth. Yeah. If I, if I realized you poisoned. Let my me drink. say something. Some of you kids at his old school are annoying as shit. God damn, bro. Like I get it. Like, but leave me the hell alone. If I'm standing, I'm going to cut this out, but I had to get that out. You're going to cut all that out? I don't, should I? Just leave some of it. Okay. Okay. Well, I, I'm a, I had to cut out the full story, but you, you know who you are, kid. Yeah. Leave me, stop touching me so much. <laughs> or I'm never coming back. Um, This week was, a, a, something happened to me that was crazy, right? So, you know, we've both been sick. Yeah. Under the weather. It's not fun. My immune system is better than yours. No, it's there not. Ain't nothing little on me. Name something that's a little on me. Is my tongue? <laughs> no. Yeah. Fat ass tongue. My legs? Your brain. Really? Legs are long. Legs are long. Feet? Feet's long. Oh, <laughs> 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 um, but like, oh, really? <laughs> but so I went. So I moved, right? And so you I'm, did. I'm, I'm trying to get accustomed to my new surroundings of where everything's at. I used to have a ritual at my old place. There was a Target right across the street, and so I'd always go to that Target. They knew me by name. There, hey, Peyton. You know what I mean? They didn't blow you kisses, but yeah, they blew me a lot of things. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> Bright and early. Coffee's ready. They were very nice to me, though. They were very nice. So there's a new Target. A little further now from where I live. There is. I go into the new Target. I'm like, this is first impressions are important to me. Very. <laughs> you're you're going to be spending a lot of time in this Target. Yeah. I already don't like the layout too much. It gives me anxiety. It's weird. It's dark. I don't like it. I think Target should be Your bright. Your Target that you shopped Are at you nuts? was worse. The Target that, that that's by my place now, is it's wood floors. <laughs> Who's Where are we? At a lobby, bro? We're at Target. Put some tile on the shit. Okay, at least the Target that you're shopping at now doesn't have a theft every two hours. Oh, sorry. I I couldn't afford to live in the bougie-ass neighborhood that you lived in your whole life. Sorry, I had to get it out the mud with Screaming Lady as my next-door neighbor. <laughs> anyway, God, I'm going to miss her. I should have said bye. But she would have been like, bye. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, bye, naked Screaming Lady. She's like, bye, bye. You're going to hell. So I I, I I went into the new Target, right? Oh, and there's a Starbucks in the Target. Yes. And I had a sore throat, sore throat syndrome. Medicine ball. I had to get a medicine ball. You're welcome for putting you on. Thank you. So I, I go and say, excuse me, lady over the counter, first of all, so beautiful. Mm. So beautiful. There you go. And she had no, non-slip shoes on. And I was like, <laughs> hello, that's, that's my game. She's engaged, though. Uh, I was like, I could give you a better life. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. 
<laughs> You're like, hey, tell your man he's not me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. She's beautiful and she deserves happiness with me. So uh, I said, may I have a medicine ball, please? She goes, yes. I'm like, okay. I'm going, and, you know, Target asks you if you have a phone number, skip the survey, whatever. It's St. Jude. And so I'm, I'm, I'm going to tap my card, and as I tap in my car, I hear a, I hear a, meow. <laughs> what? I go, what the f***? You heard a what? Going to tap in the card, into your pin. I look over, right? There's a woman in the corner booth of the Starbucks, right? A hoodie, and then a big black overcoat on. Bandana wrapped around her face. Not that cold outside. Gray hair. Hands are disgusting. <laughs> Hands are dirty. God bless her. She's holding the coffee, right? And there's about 18,000 pieces of paper on her table. And I said, what's going on? And then she has a bag. Just a Target bag. I look over at her. She's throwing up in the Target bag. And then once she completes her round of vomit, she meows. So she's going, <coughs> every time. I oh. swear to God, and she didn't smell good. And so I'm ordering my medicine ball, right? And they're starting to cook it. And I'm sitting in the corner. And at this point, different people are starting to go up to order their drinks. And it's this woman and her little daughter. And they didn't hear the noise yet. So I was sitting behind Meow Throw Up Lady. Meow Vomit. So it's me, Meow Throw Up Lady, and then the family. So I'm be able to see this whole interaction. You're just sitting there I waiting. saw the first level of vomit, right? Meow. <laughs> <laughs> The little girl is like, she literally, the little girl goes to like where the cantaloupe is to wait for her drink. I just had to put that out there. I found a new scream lady that meows and throws up. She's half cat. Dude, I don't know. Okay. I don't know what this vomit, it, like vomiting in, in public places is a new thing. Yeah. Two weeks ago when we went to Ikea, I told you the second I came out, I literally went to Ikea. You're going to think I'm disgusting. Had to drop a deuce. It had to happen. You I was don't in shit public. at home. I was in public. If I have to poop, I'm going to poop. So we go to Ikea. We're at the very end. I go in there, and I'm pooping. And I literally, it's just me, because we were early. Okay. Or no, it wasn't you. It was my, it was my parents. Me. It wasn't you. It was you, Liv. <laughs> but anyway, we go in there. I'm pooping, and I literally hear the door open, and a guy goes, oh, shit. <laughs> and he comes up into the stall, the stall next to me, and I hear, Bleh. And, I, yeah. and he's vomiting. Yeah. It was like nine. It was like ten thirty in the morning. Can we talk about our differences in throw up? About you and me? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because we're real phlegmy. You're right? a sick freak. We've been real yeah. phlegmy. Or whenever you drink, you're a, you're a bold bastard. If I'm feeling phlegmy and gross, and I just know that it's like it's making me gag, I'll, I'll twenty one Jump Street myself. I'll just I, <coughs> I open my tongue and I place it here and I slide it back. And it just oh opens it up. God. And even if I don't throw up, it just has to, has to dry heave like I'm a small kitty cat. Because you know my back. I can get it there. <laughs> yeah, you can. <sighs> and so I'll, I'll do that, and then I immediately feel better. Cleared out. I will feel bad, sick, and nauseous for four hours before I 21 myself in vomit. I can't do that. Didn't you stick your fingers in my mouth one time? No, no, no podcast. Didn't you do that? No, I did not do that. Stop that. At Hannah's I wedding. To, I had to drive off. No. I had to drive. You said, no, I can't be by that. Go. No, no. Whenever you carried me in Hannah's wedding party. I you, didn't. I didn't gag you. Who else carried me? Did you carry me? Oh, Yo, who carried me? It was me, but I didn't gag No, you. I was on two people. Probably Calvin. Calvin. You he put your fingers you. in my mouth. You gagged yourself, dog. You think I literally went, oh, <laughs> like, come on. Come on. No, I'm not doing it. I just hit my head so hard with my ring. The you should know podcast. This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. Everybody knows the holidays can be very tough. Who do I buy for? What do I get them? They yes. don't like this. They didn't like my gift last year. But this holiday, give yourself the gift of BetterHelp. Everybody has tough times. Everybody has deadlines, crunching numbers, and, and finances can even get tight around the holidays. That's a, that's a fact it can. So whether it's by starting therapy or even going easier on yourself in tough moments or treating yourself to a complete day of rest, remember to give yourself some love this holiday season. Cam, you know how I feel about therapy. I'm a big advocate for it. That's why I'm so happy that BetterHelp is a sponsor of the You Should Know podcast. Yes, sir. Therapy is helpful for learning positive coping skills and how to set healthy 
boundaries. It empowers you to be the best version of yourself. It isn't just for those who've experienced major trauma in their life. No, no, no. I think we can all benefit from a good therapy session. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. Woo! It is entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suitable to your personal schedule. That's a fact. Just fill out a brief questionnaire yep. and get matched with a licensed therapist, and Woo! you can switch therapists free of cost at any time. Woo! In the season of giving, give yourself what you need with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash YSK today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash YSK. Now on to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know Podcast. Can we talk about that, a story that we told it on Patreon? And actually, I don't want to say it about the sink. Go to Patreon if you want to see it. It's, 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 a, it's mm. The episode's like titled Worst Drunk Stories. I have a question for you, though. Okay. Speaking about bodily fluids, what kind of poop do you have? Excuse me? What kind of poop do you have? Solid, very fair question. It's not helping your case of how you're not Dahmer. What? <laughs> I might be a serial killer, but there's different kinds of poop. <laughs> hallelujah! 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 <laughs> what kind of poop do you have? Why do you want to know this, first of all? Because I have... I've been having the worst kind of poop the last couple of days. Oh, the worst is the cactus poop. What the hell is the cactus? Wait, y'all didn't have that? What is you the have cactus? That? So me and my brother- They're we, just sharp and they stab? Yeah, me and my brother oh, always oh said we got God. a cactus poop. So it feels like at the end of it, there's like little thorns, but it's coming out. <laughs> oh, it feels like you're going to bleed out of your asshole. I would just say it's a little sting. Oh, no, mine feels like it's like I- <laughs> <laughs> Just shit your bed. But I was gonna say, you your cheeks are out. What are you doing? I was gonna say I've been having the marker for the last couple of days. What is it? Oh, when it goes like that on the paint of the on the thing? No, where it just it doesn't go away. I wait, doesn't go away. You Keep just going. wipe and there's shit. I wipe. hate those. I That's hate those. Worst. I hate it's those. It's like I'll go through a whole roll. <laughs> yeah, you wipe like that? No, no this kid, just, we've already, it's gone I'm viral saying. how nasty Cam's ass is. Because he doesn't check the, you check, right? You check the paper. I don't look at everyone, You don't everyone, check no. the paper? I check the paper. Yeah, he doesn't check, he guesses when he's done. His no, his asshole is brown. I said I go like this. <laughs> I'll go one, there's, there's, there's obviously shit on the first one. There's obviously shit. Y'all are freaks for checking the first piece of No, you don't check the first one, dumbass. You check the last one and you're done. I already said that. I said I refuse Y'all go like this. Oh, I do check the first one. I'm not lying. I do. I, I check the first one. I'm not gonna. Lie. I check every single one. Why? Yeah. That y'all are disgusting. Because no one's done. You gotta see. Because like, it might be a one wiper. You ever had a one wiper? Shit just left your ass. You've never had a There's one wiper. There's gonna be turd on the first one. No. That is an unnecessary no. check. When you have the cactus poop, you have a one wiper. A one wiper. You ever done this so, and it's you have ghost paper and you're so done. If you have a one wiper, that means it's still gonna be wiped, right? So there's no need to look at the first wipe. You wipe. Then you you, that away. means you might be wasting toilet paper if you don't check that first one. Bro, all I'm saying, I can wipe. But you're a liar. Drop. You said you wipe. don't look at all. Drop. No, I didn't. Y'all did yes, not let you me did. finish. It's viral. Check the thing. You did not let there's me. There's millions of people out there that know you have shit stained drawers. I don't have shit stained. My drawers are clean. No, I'm not. I'm not you guessing it? playing Da Vinci. I'm <laughs> sitting here. I go. But I'm saying on the when I when I think okay there probably shouldn't be any poop left that's when I'll give it a peek. Do you if guide it's clean, it? I'm done. Do, you do gu I guide? Do I guide it? I'm playing dig dug up there. Wait, I'm no, getting in there. <laughs> Wait, so are you flat handed the whole time? This is a great question. Are you you got you got to bump a knuckle oh, once or twice. <laughs> you got to bump a knuckle once or twice. <laughs> okay, that's an insane image. No, if you go flat hand, you're getting surface level. Yeah. You still got a dirty canyon. How many if times you, have you gotten an oil change? You got to bump a knuckle. <laughs> and look, look, you got <laughs> to bump. <laughs> bump a knuckle. How many for times sure. have you gotten an oil change? Honest I, to God. Honest to God. Honest to God. My finger has never popped through. Oh, you've never. Honest to God. You've never been wiping, and then you. It, it's a little hard to get it back. No. Okay. If my asshole's playing t tug of war with my finger, then no. I, I need to. I need to go. Fum oh, Olivia? Wait, hold on. We got to ask because it didn't pick up. Okay. Are you a folder or a crumple upper from Ryan? I am a folder. I'm. Y'all know me to the You my have core. to fold. I am OCD. I'll bank, fold, fold, bam. Olivia, shit you not, will literally go like this. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, 
Are That's you, what Liv. Why are you make her look like that? She's like. <laughs> you do look like. Oh, 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 oh! She said it. She said it. Oh, uh, okay. No, but for sh you, you gotta bump a knuckle. If you're, you, if, you got, if, you, if you're going flat, you hand, have to you're guide. Lying. You gotta guide. But you're, you're. What the hell was that? <laughs> God, what are you doing? You're sitting there playing with an areola. What are you doing? This is PG broadcast. And you're sitting there going. <laughs> PG podcast. <laughs> That's not what I was doing. You've never anyway, lifted no, a leg. Are you having fun? Jeez. Take and then your thumb goes to your tooth. You're sick. Stop. 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 Take a whiff of my finger. Stop. Stop it. You always try to get my watch away. You little creep. But you, you always have a bad sense of judgment. Like what do you, you mean? You don't guess shit right. You don't like. You have a great like judge of character mm -hmm. on people, but of items and inanimate objects, you're not good. Like you don't know. You can never guess heights and distances and like I can't, realistic things. I'm not. Ba I'm I'm bad at guessing things. You'll be like, oh, that that building's about 20 feet. It's like a 64 skyscraper. You're like about 100 feet. No facts. I, I don't horrible. know why. It's because my brain doesn't know how to compute. Like I need. I'm a visual learner. I can't imagine that. Like, okay, I'm trying to think of an example. For, okay, right here on our set, how many pennies could fit in this room? 500. <laughs> that ass. No, bad guess, not a good one. 700. That is the worst guess. How? 500 pennies. <laughs> yeah, 500 pennies could fill a sneaker. Like, no, no, no. 500 pennies. How big is a penny? Honestly. You just went like this. That's a boiled egg. A penny is like that. Okay, not... Five, swear to God, right here is about... That's about 30 pennies. And then it's that big and like... Th this is about okay. 30 pennies. Okay, alright. So th that's about the... <laughs> so look. Look, right here from the ground. Here. 30, 30, 30, <laughs> 30, 60, 90, 120. You would be the worst construction 160, layer. 160, 180. That's 180 pennies. Right here. That's actually probably not too bad of a guess. Exactly. And then times five. Okay, if you do that, you're already at 900. Oh. <laughs> already at 900, and it'd be this wide. That's five, that's five columns. Okay, okay. Give me a real guess. 500 is a dog shit answer. A million. Way more. No smoke shot. Yes. A Why million? You so mad. Have you seen a million of anything in your life? <laughs> Why'd you because so you're, yeah, you do that, and you say stupid things to me, and it makes me mad. I don't like it. I don't like you. <laughs> Bro, more than a million pennies, for sure. From this corner to that and close back. A million pennies. Are you nuts? I don't think you've seen a million of anything in your life. Neither have you. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> but no, the Million Man March, you weren't there. You Neither couldn't go. You. Where was it? Why couldn't Washington, I go? Washington, D.C. What's Washington, D.C.? <laughs> Where's that? Washington, D.C. Idiot. Where's Washington, D.C.? In D.C.? You said it's Washington, D.C. Oh, shit. Yeah. The You Should Know Podcast. This episode is brought to you by Babbel. Over 60% of Americans believe the most useful second language in the U.S. is Spanish. Want to take some time this winter to brush up on what you didn't learn in high school? No problemo. Because with Babbel, you start speaking a new language in just three days weeks with Babbel you can learn everything you need to have real world conversations from vocabulary words to culture and it all takes just 10 minutes a day Babbel's conversation based technique teaches you useful words and phrases to get you speaking quickly about things you actually can talk about in the real world if you're serious about speaking another language what Babbel can promise you are useful language skills along with learning the context traditions and culture the language you're learning is grounded in Babbel's not some game that just makes you feel like you're occupying your time and learning a good new habit. Mm -mm. It's academic mm. and rigged, but it's not always hard. It can be very simple. Here's a special limited time deal for our listeners to get you started right now. Get 55% off your Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash YSK. Get 55% off at babbel.com slash YSK, spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash YSK. Rules and restrictions may apply. The you Should Know Podcast. We got Ryan and Mama Liv on the podcast. Woo!
Ryan, you know what we should do? We should come for their jobs and start our own shit. <laughs> Ryan and Mama sores. live. <laughs> yeah. Y'all should like start a podcast. Light skin white guy, mm-hmm. light skin and a white guy. <laughs> there you go. We could. Um, what are y'all doing over there? Y'all I'm sorry. prepared to record? To are we working? Or what do we got going on? people better than us. Mm-hmm. Sorry. And that's why they couldn't be us, yeah, Kev. That's why you collabs, can't collabs lined up. What'd you for, just say? For TMT? What'd you just say? For TMT? No, I got my own, own shit. Oh, you, you do? It? What would you call it? I don't know. I thought it was our shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, already, I, already I, have own, I have my own. So, so uh, Cam, has, Ryan, have you been on the podcast before? He has. One of the OG yeah. old Oh, episodes. you're like on the episode three. Like five or yeah, so. Like yeah. Four. Oh, shit. Yeah, so we don't have to give it. Everybody yeah. knows who you are. Everyone knows Ryan. I will, if not, go back. Well, there has been a substantial <laughs> amount of growth since episode three. So yeah, that's true. This is Ryan, a uh, longtime friend of mine, now longtime friend of Peyton's for uh, several years, basically since I've known Peyton, Peyton's known Ryan. They became really close too. Uh, but yeah, he is, uh, he's a part of the crew. He is Team YSK. Oh, nice. He's nice. just, he, has to he hangs out with us. He helps us <laughs> on trips. He's always with us. I stalk y'all, longtime stalker. <laughs> no, <laughs> but he's the boy. He's a part of the crew, one of the few. Ryan, and you already know Mama Liz. What I have a question for everybody here today. Uh, God. Uh, drive throughs right? Mm-hmm. We talked a little bit about 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 drive throughs last uh, last last episode, right? You, you know, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yep. Um, Talk to me. Which drive through gives you the most anxiety? And I'll go first. Oh shit! Think about it while I'm saying this, right? Okay. okay. Mine is Chick Fil A. What? Immense amount of anxiety because of how m- nice they are. First oh, of all, no. you don't know me and you don't care if I die today. You know what I mean? That's true. And I don't I'm bad with um distance measurement. Mm-hmm. Like I oh, how, how I, 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 I already said I you know what I mean? <laughs> you are bad. You're like ten feet, hundred feet. You're like, I don't, I don't exactly like I don't know how close I'm to hitting something. So at the new Chick-fil-A I go to, right? Oh god. There's not an actual drive through, it's a big ass door. And they just have them walk out to you. Right, mm-hmm. while you're going through, so it's like revolving. You don't really stop. The the people just kind of walk this stuff to you, and I'm and there's a lot of cones. Innovative. There's a lot of cones. It's a tight curve, and there's people walking. I ran over a foot of a 16 year old that works at Chick Fil A right over the toe. They're like, "Oh my God, sir!" Did she say my pleasure? <laughs> and I said, "Thank you." They're like, <laughs> "My pleasure, <laughs> my pleasure." <laughs> yeah. So Chick Fil A. Mine you broke a 16 year old girl's foot. I don't think I broke it because I was ro- a slow roller. Your Tesla's about 5,000 pounds. Are you nuts? Teslas are among the lighter cars, I think. Yeah. 5,000 cameras. Kim, do you know how big 5,000 pounds is? Four? How much is 5,000 pounds? An elephant. <laughs> An elephant weighs 5,000 pounds. Did she just like chime in? Yeah. Or like, <laughs> I have a two phone. elephants. I raise you. <laughs> She's like, like at auction. <laughs> yeah. I She's got like, two elephants. Free. <laughs> We're not doing this. We are not doing this. No, honestly, an elephant is how much pounds? A Tesla is 5,000 pounds. I think right? an elephant's like a thousand or t- either a thousand or two thousand. So you're Dog, saying there's different sizes. So you put if I put elephants ten elephants, weigh more than a thousand pounds. Like a mammoth, like the ones with the horns. <laughs> a mammoth. Wait, there's off, well, 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 first well, off, well, first off, first off tusks. Like, there's there's yeah. elephants with horns. That's a thing. Yeah, and the mouths. The mouth. The, that's what you just said. <gasps> yeah, they have mouth tusks. A woolly mammoth. Well, mammoths are extinct. Like the shit. These are elephants with, with tusks. Like the stuff off still of Ice Age. With tusks. <laughs> <laughs> Horns, tusks. I didn't know how big oh, meese sorry. were. That's a walrus. Walruses Wait, don't have feet. Where are you? Where are you? They have <laughs> Welcome. They have yeah, they have tusks, but they're smaller. Y'all are, are y'all? You're kidding? No, dead ass. How an big of an elephant is way more than a thousand pounds? Way more. I said than five. He said a thousand. But you're saying like, an elephant? A, a, a tiger is like eight hundred pounds. A tiger's can be up to eight hundred pounds. Damn. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I swear to God. Just I like, bro, a tiger, yeah. bro, a tiger, like six hundred max. You took off two hundred pounds. Like, <laughs> <laughs> <it's> like, <laughs> like, really like, took it down. Maybe really seven twenty-five. <laughs> okay, let's yeah, let's, Google it yeah, because let's, let's figure this out. Because you saying my Tesla size of an elephant? I have a death machine. In How my much hand. does a that's a crazy lion. Tesla a lion start what? pushing a thousand? Bro, yeah. tigers are bigger tigers. than lions. Tigers are the re- they're the same damn thing. Tigers are the real king. They are built the same way. Tesla, uh, Tesla model. What do you have? Long range or performance? Long range. Tesla Model Y, long <laughs> what range. What the fuck 40, does that mean? <laughs> what the difference in pounds? Yeah, just a Tesla Model Y. Flex real quick. Tesla Model <laughs> Y, long range, forty-four hundred pounds. Leather seats. 
4,400. <laughs> four, four, a Tesla Model okay, X. Okay, no, I'm asking, I'm asking you to Google how much an elephant weighs. Well, first I wanted to prove that I'm right. I was <laughs> 600 pounds off. Of course. How much does an elephant weigh? Asian elephant. 8,800 <laughs> pounds. <laughs> Why? Like this. African bush <laughs> elephant. 13,000 pounds. No way. They're enormous. What okay. about the ones with the little 1300? horns? 13,000. That's how bad at guessing I am. Elephants are huge. That's bro. how bad at guessing I am. Yeah, I would have guessed huge. that this building weighed 13,000 pounds. And that's why you are just going to fail. That's why your brain <laughs> You're is gonna fail. Not at this, <laughs> but just at some Everything things else. in life. I didn't get to share my drive through experience. <laughs> You're about eight minutes behind. Go, baby. No, it's fine. Everybody right, got so to share. <laughs> no, I would have to say McDonald's because they don't know anything. They always damn. Forget the, they forget the sauce. They're rude on the damn intercom, and that shit gives me anxiety. Yeah, that's Ow. bottom of the food chain. Oh. <laughs> Did you just moan? No, because you you just are rough. You don't know when to like just be gentle. Kim's a rough lover. I gave you a hug. <laughs> no, you didn't. That was not a hug. That was like a grab. I need to learn a little bit about y'all real quick. Let's Who? Hear it. Okay. Growing up. Okay. Or actually, as a young adult. Okay. You know, trying to trying to find ways to make money, do your thing. Yeah. What is the weirdest side hustle y'all have ever had? Oh God. Oh shit. Um. I would have to say cutting other people's fingernails. Fucking lying. No way. What did you just say? <laughs> what? I what I thought it was this. <laughs> you get paid to cut things? Yes. Some people like they they don't like touching their fingernails. They so they like That's how I am with my toenails! See? It's a thing! Would you cut my toenails for me? Yes! Really? I'm not weird about feet or fingers. Oh f no. <gasps> Oh my God, Peyton! Dude, there's stuff dude, falling they're off. they're curling. It's like I Ryan, know, take I, a look. I know your feet are big, but they're f huge. <laughs> God, and they all have little helmets. <laughs> like it's like every one of your toes wearing a visor. Gra Ryan, okay. look, look at the toenails. Whoa, 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 whoa! It's as big as my whole entire shoe. Look at the toenails. <laughs> yeah, look at my toenails. They're, they're all white. curved over. They're like witches. See, oh, people would pay to to cut I your would. toenails. Okay, okay, time out. She said you you cut other people's nails for a side hustle, and they pay good money. Wait, like, did I'm you talking like do good the money. full service of like painting it, no, or you they just, just cut want, it? They just want the trimming, like with the nail clippers. Dog, I get that. Not, not like, even, the air now for not even. Because the thing They're is, like, the God. thing is. People will go to like a nail salon. They don't want to deal with all that. They don't want to deal with the yeah. appointments and what settings. What was this? None of this stuff. They just want to cut people's nails. So people would come to Olivia Johnson. <laughs> They're like, hey, Liv, for a nail cut cut. my hands up. Yes. Did I you thought, ever mess I up? I thought for sure no. I was going to take the cake. Well, well that's no. weird as Okay, shit. what's yours? I had two. I stole candy from my mom's concession stand when she helped with band. I rebagged it and sold it in the hallways, and then I tried duct tape wallets. Oh, duct tape wallets. That was <laughs> yes, fine. That, that was but you've okay. always been a thief. You've yeah. always been no, a thief. Well, that's why you got fired from Kroger. You're yeah. stealing candies. And it was candy not. bars. Exactly. You're no, a candy thief. No, at, at, at this, though, I dude, yeah. I was just an entrepreneur from a young age. Yeah, I get my it. mom, she worked with the band. She helped with the band because my brother's in the band. They'd have those big jars of, like, jawbreakers. Yeah, and, like, I know exactly huge, what you're talking like, about. Huge, like, king-size yeah. ones. From Sam. She'd bring it home because she would she was in charge of everything so everything that they didn't sell she'd bring it home and she was supposed to wait for it mm -hmm. i would literally bag the pictures up in so little you... dime bags and like <laughs> i'd go to school hey two for a dollar three for like i was literally out here auctioning what's the most money you've made at Dude, a I day made like 50 bucks in a week and oh, I, I was in like fourth grade. i bet you felt rich as hell so you I stole the I candy felt, bars I, it wasn't candy it's bars one it was like jawbreakers <laughs> lollipops <laughs> but you stole sours. them because your mom was supposed to give them back to the the place no, 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 she wasn't supposed to give them back. She was supposed to use them the next week. They were just expired. So I was probably tanking her experience. They didn't have any inventory, did they? They didn't no. take inventory? Okay, then you're fine. Oh, shit. You're fine. Well, she was like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, every week for a game, she'd have to go to Sam's, get that big-ass thing, and, like, buy stuff for the concession stand. So, oh. she, so she was just trying to save them for the next week, but I would be, like, my, bagging them up. My weirdest side hustles, I, I recorded voicemails. What? <laughs> you know, like, you know, like the whenever you're you're like a transcriber when you call a company and uh -huh. it says you, this is the company you oh, go, go to yeah, voicemail. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm some of the voices for that. I hate That's people like sick. you. Huh? <laughs> Dude, yeah. You hate voicemail people? Bro, yes. no, after have y'all seen how long some of the answering machines are? Me, a very short tempered patient man. Yeah. I can't take that shit. No. It's like, it's like, yeah, I, 
No, I don't. Welcome know to this and this and this and this. Our menu options have recently oh, changed. Oh, I do know what you're talking about. Yeah, this is also going to be recorded. If a member, and then it's like, okay. For leasing information and possible dates on when you might want to come out and check the facilities, but we might not be able to get back to you immediately. Yeah. Click one. Yeah. And it's like that all the way to nine. And it's like, I just want to speak I want to, quick to something exchange. with a heartbeat. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, God, oh my God. Oh, it my happened again. What happened again? What, what, was what happened again? It went in my breath. Colt 45 and some Marlboros. Something's wrong. Oh, you need to <laughs> go the blood. day of Guinness. What was your weirdest side hustle, right? I don't think I had. I wasn't really that type of kid, but I remember... Uh, I remember my brother had one. He would put, you remember those cra- crayon boxes? You'd get what word box. did you just say to me? C- crayon. <laughs> crayon. He said them crayon boxes. He said them crayon, crayon, crayon boxes. boxes. I, said, I, I do call them crayons. Cranberries. Crayons. 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 There you go. The what? <laughs> That's not even what a Y does. What does a Y do? Ooh. What does a Y? Oh, so, let's hear. What does a Y do, Ryan? Yawn. Yeah. Oh, I guess yawn. W. What sound does the letter Z the, say? Wait, what did you say? Yawn is the what? The word yawn is. Oh, I said W. <laughs> 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 Time out. What were you? What was your? Oh my God! Your brother's yeah. hustle. It was. I don't know if y'all remember those crayon bo- <laughs> crayon boxes. <laughs> yes. But you put like your pencils and stuff and your yeah. highlighters because they make you get f- everything just to <laughs> give it to another kid the next year. <laughs> Bleed my parents dry. But. <laughs> The top that of it, ain't there true. Was like this indent in the top that said crayon, crayon, <laughs> and they'd fill it with glue, and you let the glue dry, and then you they they you know peel it out, and it'd be a bookmark. So they'd sell bookmarks my, out of my, glue. My brother and his friend. That's innovative yeah, as was, hell, dude. And you could put different colors in there and stuff, and it, it was actually sick. It sounds like, like it. what the I've hell? I've never heard of that. Nowadays. That sounds like, but like, what was he turning them for? A, a dollar? I don't know. That sounds like think, a whole ass I think it process. With them just giving them to their like friends and stuff, and then like multiple people were asking for them, but I don't think it was like a money grab. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's I, like, "Hey, I need twenty by the end of the period. Let's yeah. go." You um, can only dry so fucking fast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I, why I was like, "Jeez." I have a would you rather for you guys, right? Okay. When did your lips get so? Did you just? I apply think my lips something? Were bleeding. <laughs> they got so, so shiny. Lip- I don't you know. Look like you got uh, lip injections. Yeah, like I look good. Some could say that. No, because I smiled too. I, I, I smiled too hard and I heard it pop. Oh God! He's like <laughs> bone in his lip. <laughs> He's like, oh, wait, that oh. thing? Could you break your lip? You Fuck. could bust, you your, bust lip. your lip. It's not a bone. You can't break something. that's not a bone. You it's just, just said the bone in his lip. I said he said he, 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 said, he said what if he had a, like it's joking. Know. But okay, would you rather? I can break your lip. Hello, good morning, Javi's cut. Ca- mm-hmm. Oh, Turkey would your sausage? Would you rather? Would you rather? Right. Okay. Would would Sorry. you rather always have bad breath? No. Or randomly shit yourself once a day, but you never know when it is. Bad breath. I'm taking bad breath. Bad breath easily. But you I'm can't not- fix it. You can't fix the bad oh, breath. Shit. You just always have constant shit mouth. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'd Ooh. wear a mask. Actually, this would but be I'd really. the breath. <laughs> this would oh, be sad. No. I shit myself regularly. That's true. I do shit my pants. Yeah. Bro, I did that in New York. Wait, what? <laughs> what? I have to tell y'all about that. <laughs> You I shit yourself? Went like I I don't know when it happened, but went to the bathroom later that day, pulled my pants down, big quarter size <laughs> fucking poop spot, <laughs> and I was blown away. I was like, usually it's like, oh my god, this just happened, and then you like go. So, wait, so you didn't wait, feel wait, your wait, ass? Wait, you were just thinking all day. You didn't feel your <laughs> ass crusting up like during the day? I didn't have any uh, like itching or rash. It was just a turd, you said? Because I had that one fucking story as a freshman. Dude, oh, the, tell that. that so tell funny. that. Tell that I story. Telling stories, I'm bad at it. Just tell it. But uh, we had a basketball tournament in Weatherford, Texas, <laughs> and so it was like two hours from home. And I shit myself <laughs> on the bus. <laughs> and this, uh, dude, this was a lot. I would classify this as a shit myself. Yeah. The time in New York. It was wasn't like, a mistake. It was like a shart in New York. There's yeah. a shart and then there's shit. This was like you shit your pants. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, there's fecal matter like a in lot. your trousers. Yeah. Bro, I had to scoop it out. <laughs> what? Case, sc- what it, was, it was so bad. He said scoop it out. So uh, when we get we get there and I'm like, I'm dealing with some like, some pain. Like, <laughs> pain. So I go to the bathroom and I'm like shook because it was like I had underwear and then a girdle on. <laughs> yeah. So not like a 
like compression shorts. Compression shorts. shorts. He always calls them girdles. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, you make us sound like we're 80. <laughs> he got we're in <laughs> girdles to a basketball game. Yeah, but I think it was just like the heat that was in my pants. It was like waves of scents. And just like, <laughs> Why yeah. did you poop your pants in the kitchen? <laughs> Two hour f- bus ride I did. <laughs> I'm like, saying like, like were your, you was were your like stomach upset? Or 14. Like what made you shit? I don't know. I, well, uh, uh, it was a fart, but it was just okay. A okay, lot that makes sense. Shit. Wait, what do you mean you scooped it out? Because with my, what? I didn't know what I was gonna do. I was like, there's so much shit in my underwear. <laughs> what do I do? So I started getting napkins, and I started in the holy bathroom. shit, Ryan, in the bathroom, not on the bus, in the bathroom. Oh, in the bathroom. okay. <laughs> I, I think I like texted my dad or something. Yeah, this, you gotta tell this part. Yeah, but my dad ended up coming in, and my dad was like a die hard, like he die for his kids. Yeah. So uh, he ended up giving me his underwear, and these are like he's like a <laughs> fifty year old fucking man. Please tell me he didn't put yours on. Oh no! What oh, the? Oh. F- <laughs> your dad sick me. He's like, oh, I gotta take one for the team. <laughs> yeah. It's like Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> he goes sits down. He's like, I'm sorry, honey. No, we just threw those in the trash, and he lent me his underwear. And That's a good ass dad. Yeah, but the game was painful, bro. <laughs> the game. It was like third quarter, and I played like all the game. Like I wasn't like a bench rider, so it was just like bad, dude. It was very bad. But holy shit! Shout out to dad. Dude. Yeah, he yeah. yeah. wore Levi blues, ass naked, <laughs> <laughs> just like how. And this is like old. Like, like course. Wait, how, how, okay, for the for it's the, like, <laughs> like for the, scratching his for ass. the guys here. Have you ever got it caught in the zipper? Oh or my god, like a little bit of the nuts. I, 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 I had nut sack in the zipper. Oh, it's the worst. You can see it and it's poking out like Dude. that. Bro, oh, oh my god, my zipper often. Huh? huh? Like if I piss, I. <laughs> wait, what? Wait, what, <laughs> what did you say? Like he doesn't undo I don't zipper. do zippers. I don't ever undo my zipper. You just your whole pants can just slide off your waist. Camera, when I say yeah. a pair of pants has never fit my foot. In my life, <laughs> I can just go, <laughs> and if it's tough, yeah, I'll have to pick up. Wait, the sack so when y'all are in the bathroom, someone <laughs> will see your ass? <laughs> sack of the ball. He's oh. like, he's like this, <laughs> like everything's just like, does. wait, does that not hurt? Like, you so feel a s- cut off the circulation around the taint region? I mean, usually not because my fu- the, with these pants, yes, <laughs> but well, usually my pants are so f- loose that that's I can true. Just wait, what do you, you do you to like pee? a good baggy trouser? Wait, whenever you have basketball shorts, how do you pee? Are you I, oh, are you I, down? I pull down. Okay. I've seen people. I go oh, through oh, the. Oh, I go through the oh, leg. Yeah. I thought that was like a. Uh, oh no no no! Because like that like means you just doesn't hang as you well just, as y'all. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like ah, f- it. <laughs> I'll go through the knee. <laughs> it's like my shit's at my damn waistline. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what the. F- it's like if I have denim jeans on with holes in the knees, I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> you like knead it down. You're like you go. Okay, we're done. We're done. We're done talking about this. Y'all no, are gross. I, I if I have the webbing, like the extra, like these, like Lulu shorts, like the extra webbing, I'll have to go over the top. Oh, when it's but like tight, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but if I'm in the gym or something, I can go through the leg. Which, I've never which, attempted. Bro, it's just quicker. it'll change your life. It's literally just quicker. That's how you get pee on your shorts, though. No, 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 no. I get PPD regardless. You gotta be. Yeah, PPD like, is. Y'all get you get yeah, PPD. Plus there's no drip. getting out of it. There's none. There's all. have one or two drops. If, yeah, if you're sitting there, you're still you're just playing with yourself. Yeah, you might point. get it. You might be put on a list. Are you talking about the splatter back? No, no. It's hitting the bowl like no, like no. left in your underwear, like a little post penile drip. Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's inevitable. So all of you got pee pee ass drops. Every man you've ever met. Right. Every That's man just gross. Ago. Every man. Unless ever. he has a tight hole, which I don't know how. Like he's <laughs> never peed in his life. Yeah. Y'all shouldn't. The shit should just drip out. Your Shorts. <laughs> no, but it's, no, we're saying like when you, you put know it that, back in the sensation, like you're done pissing, you've already done your two to three shakes. Then when you put your shit back, like there's always gonna be one. It's like it's like yeah. it, your penis just knows to piss you off, and it's like, bro, something's been happening to me the last two months, and it pisses me off. Oh God, I'll, I'll be I'll be pissing right. <laughs> so I'm, I'm pissing right. I'm in the you're urine. F- behind. God. Kill he said me. I'm f- behind. <laughs> Peyton said, yeah, I'm getting you know, I'm like, Find it. <laughs> I am like, not here it is. I'm not in a comfortable position. I'm oh, sorry, Liv. All right, guys. So look, we took a little break, and I said when we come back from the break. Yeah, I, I don't know what is. What are you? What are you? I have a surprise for everybody here. Every time you've said that, I've ended up over a trash. Better be a Birkin. <laughs> no. <laughs> better, better be a be, Birkin. Better be a Birkin. But no. Um, Sit on your hands. But there's a twist, right? There's a cash prize for the winner of this. 
Oh hell yeah! I I'm whooping all I'm y'all's ass. Win this. Of <laughs> I have the cash win prize this. is five hundred dollars. Okay. 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 Y'all are excited now. Yes. I can eat tonight, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, here, oh, the white balance went off. But. Y'all might change y'all's minds after you see what it is. No, I'm pretty excited. My stomach hurts. It, the challenge involves smelling Oh, trolls. hell no. $500. <laughs> now, right? Five hundred. But who wins? How do you deem a winner? We can. Y'all can pick. Either y'all do the length of the smell hell no. or how many times you go back to smell okay, it. Okay, this isn't fair. That's what I'm going to do. How many times you go back to smell this thing? Don't try this at home. How many times you go back to smell this thing? The last one stands five hundred dollars from Paid Hard. I'm gonna throw it. Yeah. Up. Okay. Oh. Now, oh, how do you want to start long here long. and go this way? No. Start, Actually, start that way. We're gonna do it roulette style. Whenever you have it, you okay. can do as many times as you want, and you can take a break and come back. Okay. Okay. Last man standing, five hundred dollars. Like, oh, my stomach hurts. Ready? Dude, Liv's gonna lose her shit. I'm, I'm, we'll start with Ryan. I'm not. Mm. Liv's one and done. I already know. Yeah, yeah Liv is a hundred percent one and done. Yeah. Right, right, scoot up to the oh, microphone. Okay. Here we go. You can move if you I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got Ryan with one. Round of applause, oh. Ryan. One. That time it was my bad, Asher. Oh, he's going again. Ryan with two. <laughs> what the hell? Ryan with three. Oh. Okay, Ryan's got three so far. Dude, my, I got sweaty pits. I got sweaty pits. Ryan has three. Running? Huh? Your eyes are running. Cam, oh. do, you put Cam your you do, do you put your nose up to it? Yeah. yeah. And you got to sniff. Okay, but I also will determine the power of the sniffs. <laughs> he didn't even, he did the baby ass sniffs. Okay, he did three, but they weren't the strongest sniffs. Now Cam. One, there we go. <laughs> oh my God, if he can't do it, I definitely can't do it. No, oh. no, 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 no. <laughs> No, Cam no. with one, oh. but that was one powerful one. It was one powerful. Does it beat one. his three? Oh. No, no, it doesn't beat his three. But it, I'll take it into I consideration. Like I'm like so a, scared. Oh, oh. I, like I might a, vomit everywhere. A fucking <laughs> word. I can't even think right now. <laughs> An audible sniff. Oh, oh. audible sniffs go into the rating. Y'all yes. I don't want to hear my fucking sniff. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. Oh, he's making me more nervous, babe. Why didn't I go first? All right, Cam, are you going to thumb? I'm passing. Oh, okay, so one, three. So how, how does this look, work? Look. Oh god, I can already feel it. Go. Oh my god. You're not even getting close enough. <gasps> <laughs> no, my ears are burning. <laughs> Did she hear her ears are bruising? Oh! Oh, oh no! <laughs> Yeah, I can taste it. Yeah, it's like a mic. metal. It's like a pool. It's like a pool. <laughs> All right, Cam, we're going. Five hundred dollars is on the line. Five hundred dollars oh on the God. line. We got <laughs> one, <laughs> one. I can do three. it again. I can do it again. No! Oh shit! shit. <laughs> okay, here we go. There we go, Cam with two. That's two powerful ones. It's two powerful ones. I want to look right at the fucking camera. Right now. <laughs> oh my God, my, it's my stomach. Whoa. Oh my god. It's literally back here. Here we go. I can't, I, this it's bumping like, it twice shit, y'all are It's like freaks. chlorine. Yeah. Oh, right. it's kind of nice. <laughs> what? Yeah, like certain, are like, you telling us something you don't- Some nose problems? Yeah, it's- Oh, that's true. Open, uh, what? He's like getting peaceful. Yeah, what? What's Get wrong closer. with you? closer. <laughs> what <laughs> happened? He's on four. Oh, I just washed my eyes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's on six. He won. He That's won, not yeah. fair. Let That's Liv go not one more fair. Time. Okay. It's broke boy status, Liv. Oh, you won. He's that like, last I'll letter. drink this shit before I lose. <laughs> no, Ryan was getting like zinged. He said by he this. was like. Ryan was like. <gasps> yeah, he oh, said. Yeah. I haven't breathed this good. In years. He's gonna have it in his house. Like when he wakes up, like a calm Ryan. down, like a calm down corner. He's like. There's gonna be there's Come gonna here. be a story that comes out See about Ryan. Line. I think I've tried that before, but it was like these things you had to break. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're like it's red. Me. Yeah. Inside. Okay. All right, here we go. Liv, for a second time ever. I don't think she's gonna catch Ryan. You gotta go cl closer. You your just nose, gotta get Liv. closer. Here it is. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Bro, 
We're about to all oh go to the gym. We need a squat rack. She's like, dude, I, I, I'm, I tap. Everybody, I'm done. congratulations. Hey, you hit one. To, no. Uncle P hit one. one Uncle yes, P. Yes, Uncle, Uncle P. P. Uncle P. P. You hit one. Uncle, Uncle P. P. Hit that thing, boy. Uncle P. Hit that thing. Bust it down for a baddie. Oh, God. Oh. That fake ass. Oh. Liar. No, no. Oh. You're a fake. Oh. Oh. I think it's time for people's favorite segment. You know what that is? Pop, Pop culture, pay it camp. Pop culture, pay it camp. Woo! Definitely thought it was Dr. P. Uh, no, we did Dr. P last week, and we oh. didn't get pop culture. We'll get pop culture this week. I have a pop culture. Let's hear it. Fuck. Look in my eyes. <laughs> what do you see? <laughs> a cold. <laughs> <laughs> CM Punk has returned to the WWE. A cold personality. CM Punk returned to the WWE. Yeah. Y'all don't care. I don't follow. Yeah. <laughs> Debate, y'all two, go right now. He will fight you right now. Okay, <laughs> you do you like Marvel movies? I have, I have well, not anymore. But do you like like superhero movies and like stuff like that? Absolutely. You know that th after Spider Man three. No. Okay, but you you know in those movies that they weren't actually fighting, right? You know that it was scripted, right? Yeah, and it's technology. <laughs> but it's entertaining to watch. Very. WWE. <laughs> That's not the same. No. What did I say? That was different. A fucking human in a costume. <laughs> Iron Man. It's a human in a costume. But but the premise of the movie is they actually are fighting. Like, I know that's the premise of this, too, but... So you're, you're saying what I'm saying. But that's all fake. Like, that's all fake. There's what no is? story behind it. Like, yes, there is. That's the whole thing is a story. No, it's all a storyboard. Oh, I don't know what the fuck y'all talking about anyway. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like year long. That's the thing that as an adult watching WWE is you're able to appreciate the athleticism of the people because it's actually insane how athletic they are. And the way that you're the long I used to love the and long form storytelling. Yeah. So as a kid, it's more like I want to be like John Cena. Like yeah. that's so cool. But now yeah. it's like appreciating the writing and how they get these characters and like and then you learn behind the scenes stuff, shit yeah. of like how who actually doesn't like each other, like contracts, shit like that. How well I mean if I would have stuck with it, I'm pretty sure I, I would have still enjoyed it. Like I dude, I loved that shit growing I up. I love watching it. Loved now. it. It was crazy. I love and I'm re I'm connected to people inside the WWE now. Uh like O'Shea Jackson Jr. He tells me a lot of like behind the scenes stuff. Um Mark Henry obviously. Um so I'm able to watch it. CM Punk returned, which is crazy. Yeah. So uh, I, I saw it like buzzing all hey, over. Hey, you've always been like a nerd. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> That's the thing. I I I and I, um, I thrive in my yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but do y'all have any pop culture? It's the first no. guest pop culture. Um, about the loop. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I don't get on social media. All right. Lies. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Everybody. That uh, was. Pop culture, Peyton and Kim. Pop culture, Peyton and Kim. Bow! But this was episode 90. Thank you for coming back. Another amazing week. Um, next week, again, like Peyton said in the intro, next week we're going to have the LA live show recap. Talk to you about that. Talk about how amazing the LA crowd is. Speaking of LA, we've already seen you when this comes out, but we're going to see you in two days, real time. Can't wait. We love y'all. This week's code to get your good karma and confuse the casuals. Scoop. M L R. My left. Right. <laughs> Mama Live Ryan. Mama Live Ryan. Hell Mama yeah. Mama Live Ryan. They tell, popped on. Tell them where to follow y'all. Well, they already know lives. <laughs> Ryan. Living a call underscore. <laughs> and it's going to be 5,000 after this. Yeah. It, I think it's R D Clifton. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah. 11. RD Clifton. Or just go to one of our things. Our things he's tagged in. Yeah, he's tagging our stuff. Yeah, just go to our following and type in Ryan and you'll yeah. find <laughs> it. Um, all right, guys. We love you so much. Uh, the next couple cities are going to be announced soon. Be on the yes. lookout. And you already know, if you're a Patreon member, you are going to get to know before Sweaty anybody else. Betty. Sweaty McGee. We got to go get live show off it. We do. We have to go shop. LA, we're going to see you in 48 <laughs> hours. Um, remember, one out of 10 koala bears don't make it home to Christmas. I can never do that. And we will see you. Damn. Next. <laughs> <laughs> what? Goodbye, y'all. That's how we're ending it.